Hey everyone, it's Grissy here. Uh, today we're going to go over all of the uh, coach boosts and just kind of figure out, you know, who is the best coach in the game. Um, so, especially with the new Diamond Candace Parker coach, she's going to be a balanced uh, Diamond coach coming out uh, for the level 35 reward in Season 4. I thought now would be a good time to kind of go through all the different coach types and look at their boosts and see, you know, what ones make the most sense. Um, in this, I basically here have the top are the types of coaches and then just the example of like who the best coach with that type is right now. So like perimeter centric is Steph, but you also have Steve Nash as an auctionable op option that's plus four. Rick Carlisle is a plus three and then you also have all the reward uh, rubies. I think Bob Cousy is also perimeter centric. There's some of those. Uh, from the uh, player coach Dom and then there's pace and space so there's a plus five Monty Williams and Quinn Snyder these are the most expensive coaches generally seen as the best coaches but we'll go through that and then there's some cheaper options uh, that are either you know Ruby rewards from Dom or uh, there might be some optimal ones as well uh, balance the best option is going to be Diamond Candace Parker outside of her there's some Ruby uh, reward ones I'm trying to think who let me see here, Penny Hardaway from the Ruby Rewards, uh, Elgin Baylor, and I don't know if there's any auctionable ones or not. Um, seven Seconds, that used to be what Mike D'Antoni was in past two Ks. Um, now the best coach right now are the Reward Rubies. There's no auctionable Rubies that are seven seconds. There are two plus one seven seconds coaches in Chris Finch and Steven Silas, but you don't really want to use a plus one coach, so the best plus threes are... Um, let me see. Nate Archibald, it looks like, is a seven seconds coach. Uh, Wes Unseld, Allen Iverson, all from uh, that NBA 75 Dom. Post centric, Bill Russell. Uh, the Diamond Bill Russell is the best coach there. There are some plus threes like Tim Duncan, um, Yao Ming from the NBA 75 Dom. Defense, the best one is Diamond Bill Russell, again from the NBA, or not Diamond Bill Russell. Diamond Dennis Rodman from the NBA 75 Dom. Uh, there are some auctionable options as well. I know Ruby Frank Vogel is one. Um, yeah, let me check. Is Mike Malone one as well? Yeah, Mike Malone is also Ruby Mike Malone uh, as a defense coach. Those are plus threes. And then Grit and Grind, the best one is Doc Rivers. Um, he is an amethyst, so he is plus four boosts. Um, and then other than that, you have some plus threes, especially uh, in the reward Ruby player coaches. And then triangle, there is Emerald Phil Jackson uh, from completing the starter set. That's plus twos. And then there are some in the Ruby NBA 75 rewards too. Um, I think, yeah, Scotty Pippen is a triangle coach. Shaq is a triangle coach. So, so those, will, those will give those boosts, but they're only plus three. All right, now that I went through all that, let's go ahead and look. You know what boosts each of them give you so perimeter centric uh, you're looking at ball handle for everyone three point for everyone driving dunk for everyone defensive rebounding and perimeter for everyone so those are five great boosts for everybody and then your point guard shooting guard small forward get mid-range and your uh, power forward and center get offensive rebound I mean these are the most useful boosts in terms of every boost being useful uh, if you look at pace and space which is like the main one people use uh, the alls are pass IQ, help defense IQ, perimeter defense, and speed. So yeah, perimeter defense and speed are, you know, very useful, and those are consistent across. Um, help defense IQ and pass IQ, those are kind of wasted boosts. Um, centers do get defensive rebounding. Uh, power forwards and centers both get interior defense. And then everyone but centers get three-pointer, and then... Uh, your point guard, shooting guard, small forward, get ball handle. And this is assuming excellent coach boost, so everyone gets all six coach boosts. That isn't the case. I know, like, D-Rob uh, will not get the speed boost with Monty or Quinn. Uh, there's some, you know, in some of these other categories where some of the top players don't get the all of the boosts, but this is assuming everyone's an excellent boost. But this might not be exactly perfect for your team. I just want to get that out there. Um, but if I'm looking at these two uh, compared, um, you know, if you want to dribble, if you want like a point center or point power forward, you might be looking at Steph. And these are primary positions. So like, um, you know, even if you're, it's not what position you're using them. So like KG, even if you play him at center, he gets the power forward boosts. Um, 
centers get set center boost so that's something that's important as well um but so yeah if you want like a point center that can you know three hunt and ball handle steph might be your guy but you are giving up that plus five speed so maybe you want to make up that speed difference you know with your shoe boosts um and you know you will get some better rebounding if you go with a coach that isn't pace and space um seven seconds also doesn't have the most uh rebounding boosts um, I think you will notice definitely uh, have a difference in rebounding if you use a perimeter centric coach. I personally am using Steph right now. He's free. Um, you know, Steve Nash is a cheaper option than Money and Quinn. So maybe that's your move. If, like I said, if you want to make sure everyone can shoot, everyone gets a ball handle boost, and you have a little bit extra boost rebounding, that might be your go. Um, if you, the speed is that important to you, uh, then yeah the pace and space is probably your go even though you are wasting some coach boosts boosts you know you're missing the driving dunk uh, your centers don't get three pointer you only have one rebounding boost uh, you do get that inner interior defense boost which is helpful as well especially if you have you know a power forward center who's lacking interior, interior defense but now we'll go ahead into these other ones because you never know you know now we have a balanced uh diamond coach and candace parker um she is kind of similar uh, to pace and space in terms of ball handle and three point uh, for point guard shooting guard small forward she does miss the power forward three pointer boost so your power forward and your center are not getting uh, three point boost everyone's getting mid range and close shot those aren't really ideal um, four positions are getting driving layup not really ideal you do get perimeter defense for everyone but that's pretty consistent across basically all coaches there's only two coach types that don't get perimeter defense so nothing really extra there um basically you just get a little bit extra rebounding when compared to monty quinn uh to monty and quinn um but you are kind of wasting some boosts here you're missing power forward and center at three pointer um you don't get any interior defense boost i'm not huge on candace parker she's not bad but if you want a free option i would suggest steph um or we'll get into some of these other people she's okay uh but definitely not the best coach in the game. Uh, seven seconds, you know, in case we get like a diamond one later. Uh, these are the bo the boosts they give. So you have point guard shooting guard small forward gets ball handle. Everyone gets three pointers, so that's nice. Um, three positions get mid range, which not really that useful. Um, driving dunk is power forward center, so that's useful because they're the ones who you know are gonna be dunking off uh, pick and rolls. Driving layup for everybody not great it's not a, not a great boost pass iq not a great boost hands not a great boost uh, you do get power forwards and centers get defense rebounding but everyone does get speed so it does have that speed boost so if you compare it to pace and space um you know it might even be better in terms of like you get the same ball handle boost uh you get an extra your center gets the three point boost um you do get you know a driving dunk boost here you do miss perimeter defense and interior defense so you're gonna need a little bit better um, defenders uh, if you want to go seven seconds over pace and space um, and again I wouldn't suggest using the reward rubies now but this is just out there or maybe if you don't have the MT for Monty Quinn but you want the speed boost you know you could use one of these reward uh, rubies like I forget who I mentioned earlier uh, let me just go ahead and check on that really quick um nate archibald is one um who else is one nate archibald wes on sell down Iverson. so if you want to use one of those three as your coach uh that might be the move um if you don't want to pay for money and quinn and you don't have steph um but now we'll get ahead into these other ones so post centric i don't expect many people to be using post centric um you don't get any ball handle boosts only three positions get three pointers um Everyone gets mid-range, not great. You do get power forward center driving dunk. Everyone gets driving layup, not great. Post control for your small forward, not really that useful. You do get a lot of rebounding, uh, which is nice. Uh, you do get perimeter D and you do get some steal. But I think, you know, I think power forwards and centers are really the ones who need the three-point boost usually. Uh, so them missing out on that is kind of tough and also missing out on the ball handle is kind of tough. I think, you know, if you grind for the diamond coaches i would prefer steph over bill russell um just because he gives you everyone ball handle everyone three point um everyone driving dunk and then 
He gives you the same rebounding as Bill Russell. Basically, the only meaningful difference uh, in terms of like where Steph hurts compared to Bill Russell is uh, steal. Point guard shooting guard gets steal for Bill Russell and not for Steph. But I think Steph kind of over or outweighs that. So as far as the reward coaches go, I would take Steph over Bill Russell. Uh, going into defense again, he's you can get Dennis Rodman from. Uh, the NBA 75 reward coaches, or you can get the rubies from the auction house like Mike Malone or Frank Vogel. You get no offensive boost at all, which is tough to see. Um, you do get strength, which is nice, lateral quickness, block, perimeter defense, interior defense, defense consistency, not really useful, help by defense IQ, not really that useful, and not even as much rebounding as you would want um, from a defense coach. Like I would expect more rebounding here. Um, so basically, when you compare to Steph, Steph gives you more rebounding, um, gives you the same perimeter D. You don't get the power forward center interior D, and you don't get the block or lateral quickness or strength. Um, so Steph's definitely a more offensive-minded coach, but he does give you more rebounding boosts and the same perimeter defense. So I don't know. I would probably take Steph over Rodman unless your team is very, very strong offensively and you really just need the defensive boosts. Maybe you want to go Rodman, you know, you get the block, lateral quickness, you'll definitely, no an interior defense, you'll notice a difference, but um, I don't think it's worth giving up everything you give up on offense, unless you're just that tough on offense that it doesn't even matter to you, you just want the defensive boost. I mean, maybe later in the year, too, whenever cards are a little bit more cracked on offense, and they lack a little bit defensively, uh, maybe this is the time you could switch to Rodman, but I think right now, I think cards still need some of these uh, offensive boosts especially power forwards and centers when it comes to three-pointers. So, you know, here and then speed is also very useful. So I think I would lean towards these three, pace and space perimeter centric and seven seconds as being the best and kind of really determining between pace and space and perimeter centric. Um, looking at the last two, we have grit and grind and triangle. Grit and grind, uh, you do get three-pointers for your point guard, shooting guard, small forward, no ball handle boosts. Um, there's some post control, there's some driving layup, not great. There's some pass IQ, not great. Uh, two positions get defensive rebounding, one position gets offensive rebounding. That's decent enough because they're doing mostly in rebounding. Um, help defense IQ, not great. Interior defense, okay. Everybody basically gets perimeter defense, but that's consistent across you know, all coaches. Um, point guards get steal, and then three positions get lateral quickness, but you know, Point guard, shooting guard, small forwards tend to have pretty high lateral quickness already, so I don't know if you really need those boosts. Um, I would probably prefer, mm, I don't know. It's pretty close, but I would maybe prefer grit and grind over defense. Um, but you do lose out on the strength. You lose out on the block. Um, but you gain some three-pointer. I'm not really sure, to be honest. They're pretty similar. Um but I don't think they're great boosts. They're okay boosts, but they're definitely not the top in the game. And then we have Triangle, which if you remember last year was that Opal Phil Jackson was a Triangle coach. Um, now we have like Emerald Phil Jackson and uh, I think Ruby Shaq and Ruby uh, Scotty Pippen. Um, they give three-pointer mid-range to three-pointer to everyone, pass IQ to everyone, and defensive consistency to everyone. Not great there. Uh, but they also give some mid-range uh, to basically every position. You know, some driving layup, some post control, some close shot. Not really ideal. Um, defensive rebounding to basically everybody but shooting guards. So that's solid. Um, that'll help you out on the glass. And interior defense to everybody but shooting guards and small forwards. So again, solid there. Um, if you're, but if you're comparing to, say, pace and space, um, if we do in fact get, you know, a better um, triangle coach in the future, um, you're looking at, you get the centers, get the three-pointer, but you don't get any ball handle boosts. Um, outside of that, you know, you get some extra mid-range, some driving layup, some post control. Not, none of that's really going to be all that helpful compared to what pace and space gives you. You do get more rebounding than pace and space. You get point guard, small forward, power forward, center compared to just center. So that's something nice. Um, you do get more interior defense, uh, point guard, power forward, and center, which arguably is more important than perimeter defense, but Still, you don't get any premier defense boosts, which kind of sucks, and you also don't get the speed. Um, so really, I'm thinking, as, as far as it goes, basically all of these 
personally aren't that great for the time of the game we're in right now. Seven seconds could eventually be um, pretty good and maybe uh, outweigh pace and space for some people. I don't like that it doesn't really give you any um, defensive boost, so I probably wouldn't use a seven seconds coach um, unless it's like, you know, a plus 10 and that's the only plus 10 person we have or something. But for me, I think the coaches I would use right now are either Steph or Monty Quinn. I think Monty Quinn does give you the, the with the speed boost, as long as you have a center that doesn't need the plus five three pointer, um, and you don't have any issues rebounding, I would probably go with Monty and Quinn. But the argument is there for Steph as well, and he's free, so you know you might want to uh, use him and s s uh, get an extra like sixty k if you have Monty and Quinn. Uh, you could sell them. Defense, I think, could eventually be the move. Um, you know, you get that block, lateral quickness, strength, perimeter defense, some interior defense, um, and then a little bit of rebounding. I think that could eventually be the move. I don't think it is yet, um, but look for that possibly in the future when cards don't really need offensive boosts. Um, you might want to go defense. Um, but for now, I would say your best options are Steph or Monty and Quinn. Um, if you can't get if you do get Candace and you don't have those others, you could use her. Um, I would still probably prefer to get like Steve Nash. I think he's only like maybe like 20K. Uh, let me pull up real quick. Yeah, he's only about 20K on Xbox. I'm imagining he's probably something similar on PlayStation. So I would probably just get Steve Nash if you don't have Steph and you don't want to pay for Monty and Quinn. Um, but overall, yeah, I think... These two are the main uh, coach types you're going to want to use um, in 2K22. My team, I uh, hope this is really helpful for y'all because coach, coaches make a big difference. I definitely think, you know, get the best coach you can. You will notice a difference from using a plus one uh, to using like a plus four, plus three, plus five co coach, um, especially with the right boost. So I hope this is uh, helpful for y'all. Let me know in the comments, you know, what coach you use. And um, I will see y'all soon.